What a great film. Oh, what, thank you. What made you want to tell this story? Um, I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, it's asking, like, you know, why do you fall in love with a certain person or something like that? It's, uh, uh, it's kind of a mystery, you know? You just, something sticks. You know, I read a book, basically. George Higgins really liked it. I uh, thought it would be a, a good movie, or at least something that's fun to think about for a couple of years, you know, while you're making it. Now, you had worked with Brad before, obviously. Talk about getting him involved, as obviously, as, a, as an actor, but also as a producer. Um, well, our relationship has always been like, uh, he's always been uh, performed the producerial function. I mean, Brad, I think at this stage in his career, is, some, is you know, concerned about his legacy, and he wants to make you know, wants to use his powers for good, and he's uh, trying to make movies. Him and Dee Gardner are trying to make movies that perhaps otherwise wouldn't get made. He's making movies with, like, you know, uh, uh, Terry Malick, Steve McQueen, uh, that kind of thing. As a producer, you know, he's great. He's just like your 800-pound gorilla, and he'll, you know, he's yours, though. He goes and sits on other people, and he gets you the money. He does a little bit of heavy lifting. Uh, and then as an actor, it's a very different relationship, you know what I mean? We just have a normal director-actor type relationship. Um, he is so chilling as this character, Jackie Kogan. Talk about what he brings to this character. Uh, I think, um, you know, Jackie could be kind of a cipher, I think, if it was somebody else playing him. I think the thing about Brad, maybe the reason why he's a movie star, is he, you always get the feeling like you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg, you know what I mean? There's another 80% floating below the surface. He always retains some kind of essential mystery, which is maybe the reason why he's a star. You can't cast Brad as an everyman, you know what I mean? You can't cast him as a guy that's like going to the supermarket or something like that. He's either got to be like, you know, mythological figure, at least somebody extraordinary, you know, uh, which seemed appropriate for, for this character. Now, the film Chilling? Uh, maybe he's taking a holiday from his real self, you know what I mean? He's kind of playing a prick. Um, now, the film is a thriller and a crime drama, but it's a very unique take on the genre. Can you talk about, you know, just the tone of the film and what we can expect? Uh, maybe the movie is like a bit of a political cartoon. I mean... Uh, it's essentially the story of an economic collapse in a criminal economy, um, and it had a lot of uh, uh, similarities to what was going on in 2008 with the, you know, sort of global meltdown. Um, you know, you've got a, an economy that is uh, 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 based on gambling, and it, and it collapses because of a failure of regulation, and, you know, when they have to fix the problem they have to deal with the reality of the problem but also the perception of the reality of the problem so it's got a kind of political element to it as well thank you so much have a great time tonight okay